Hey everybody, today I want to give you just a quick look at my WGP sniper. As you can see, this is a half block sniper. The work was done by Jay Kurt on MCB. It's a very nice, clean cut to the body. And then the Rihanna work was done by Rain Man, also usually of MCB. This is a very basic 2000 WGP body that I'm using here that was cut down. I picked that body because it's just basic. It doesn't have any fancy milling. I like that. I like the nice clean lines and it was cheap and available. So we did that. It has a CCM Deluxe pump kit. So it has one main guide rod, one secondary guide rod, and then the pump arm itself. The pump arm is the half block length pump arm to connect to the sled, also made by Jay Kurt, as well as the bolt and the bolt pin. Excellent work if you're in the market for half blocking services. And then I went with the CCM T-handle pump instead of their normal round pump because I really like the way the T-handle feels uh, with your fingers, your thumb in this groove and your other fingers in the opposite side groove. I really like the T-handle so I went with that. I'm using a single trigger slide frame here which I find very comfortable and it has a nice clean break point when you're shooting it. It's a very clean break, so it's not going to be kind of a jerky motion where you're moving the marker. It's very smooth and easy to use, and once you use it for a bit, you really get to know right where that break point is, so you can put a little bit of pressure on the trigger until you just barely need to touch it to get that shot off. I'm also using a Deadly Wind fiber barrel. This is the carbon fiber barrel that's compatible with Freak inserts. It's great because it allows me to use whatever paint I have the right sized insert for it, and that's really nice. I'm using a very basic Trinity clamping feed neck. It works great. I haven't had any problems with it. And then this is probably the most unique aspect of this marker, the air setup. You see, I have my regulator actually facing forward. Instead of having a vertical regulator, I'm using a female Palmer stabilizer. So this is a regulator that is also an ASA. It has standard ASA threading on one end for the input. And instead of facing it backwards for a normal back bottle setup, I'm facing it forwards for a Hawaiian air setup. I'm doing this because I don't like having an air tank or anything in my shoulder. I like to play tighter than that. And I can run a small air tank in here. Actually, I can run really any size I want, but I usually use it with a 13 3K, a 13 cubic inch tank. It sits right here. It only goes out about this far. It's nice and small and light and compact. It makes for a very tight package that's very well balanced. And then this setup feeds into a valve that is all CCM internals. So it operates around four, maybe 500 PSI, kind of a mid pressure type marker. Because I have the CCM kit and the CCM internals, this is essentially a poor man's CCM T2. It has the nice smooth stable pump kit, the light springs on the internal, so the pump stroke on this is very light and very smooth. It's not as nice as a 6.5 or a T2, but it's definitely comparable and it's better than using the same kit with, for instance, WGP internals. Since I started using this configuration, it's really become one of my favorite markers and really uh, one of my go-to markers for any style of play. So that's really all I wanted to show you, just a quick look at my WGP sniper. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.